Hey everyone, welcome back to another build video. Today I will be covering a, another Phase 4 build for the Cold Taroth using one of the relic weapons from the Siege event known as Terra Stream Axe. Now for the weapon, we do have it augmented with both attack and affinity. Now for the gear, we have the Dragon King Eye Patch, Cold Taroth's Ire Beta, Rassel Braces Beta, Legiana Coil Beta, Rassel Greaves Beta, as well as an Attack 3 Charm. Now, I do have the Rocksteady Mantle, this item I would recommend since it allows you to latch onto Cold while she is running around to get off your amped attack, so it's well worth to have. I've also taken a Fireproof Mantle, but honestly, you can take whatever you're comfortable with. Now, after Jewel Socketing, the skills we will have are the Critical Element for the Rathalos Mastery, Attack Boost 4 for the 12 Attack and 5% Affinity, Ice Attack 3 to bring our uh, Elemental Damage Cap to 390, Weakness Exploit 3 for the 50% affinity to weak points. Uh, Focus 3 to allow us to get our charge 20% faster into sword mode. Uh, next we have Stun Resist 2. Really it just comes with the chest piece, but it's a decent skill. Uh, Maximum Might 2 uh, for the 20% affinity while at full stamina. And then we have Critical Boost 1 for an additional 5% damage to our critical hits. Now do note this is only calculated to our raw damage, not the elemental damage from the Rathalos Mastery. But let's go ahead and take a look at the jewels we socketed to achieve these stats. Alright, so we have a Mighty Jewel in the eye patch, a Mighty Jewel and Attack Jewel in the chest, a Charger Jewel in the braces, a Tenderizer Jewel in the Coil, and a Frost Jewel in the Boots. But let's go ahead and see how this set works in the final phase of the Kul Taras Siege. Alright, so for obvious reasons I edited out the first three phases. Uh, this is a Stage 4, um, so this run should go pretty quick. I'm going to go ahead and leave a link in the description below for what I use personally for the first uh, three phases. Uh, it's a Lightning Pierce bow, bow gun. Really excellent way to, to get her mo mantle broken. Uh, I already drank a cool drink, so we're not going to go ahead and worry about that here. We're just going to make our way down. But as soon as I get closer to my teammates, I am going to pop a Demon Powder just so that everyone can get a little bit of an attack bonus here. Good work, Fibers. Now get out there and show us how it's done. Whoop, that was... Alright. And I accidentally already wasted my Rocksteady Mantle, so we're gonna start right with the Fireproof. Build that gauge up. Oh! Oh, that shouldn't have hit me. I really wanted to latch onto the tail there. And that should have latched on. Oh my. Oh dear. Oh. Alright, so we're off to a bit of a rough start. Oh, not sure what I was doing there. Go ahead and rebuild that gauge back up a little bit. Oops, somebody mounted her. Let's go ahead and get that gauge built back up. Oop. There we go. But as you can see the damage here, look at each of these swings. Like, that is a massive amount of damage. Oh, man. Oh, not sure why I rolled into that. Okay. Okay. 
just go ahead and heal back up real quick. Even in axe mode, I mean, you're still getting some... Oop, oh boy. Even in axe mode, because you are still dealing some elemental What's damage... Oop, stop swinging. Okay. You are still dealing elemental damage, and she is super weak to ice. You're getting off some really nice numbers. I'm just gonna go ahead and... Make sure I'm at full health here real quick. Go ahead and sharpen while we have an opportunity here. Oh, and we're done. Okay. So, really there wasn't much of a showcase here. Uh, earlier on the head, I'm sure you saw some of those swings were like two, 300 a pop. Uh, if you were watching all those numbers fly, um, like 40s and 50s, but there were three, four, five times the numbers sometimes. Really worth it. Um, if you guys did enjoy the video, please like and subscribe. If you would like to see a particular uh, weapon or a particular build, feel free to leave a request in the comments below. And as always, happy hunting!